Hello friends, this is Yasir Mir and today in this video I am gonna show you how to set up your React Native dependencies, components and all the things that we are required to install all the setup. In this video I am not going to install all the things but I am going to show you the way how to install the React Native version 0.63 and above. First of all, open Chrome and write here React Native. The official website of React Native. First of all, I select top and go to environment setup. Set up the environment. This is for Expo CLI Quick Start, but in this video tutorial, I'm showing you how to install the CLI setup for Windows and for Android. First of all, you have to install Chocolaty, so open it in another tab and click on install now. Here we go. Simply open administrative shell, go to your search and write power shell here. This is power shell. Open it as administrator. Run administrator. Yes. And here you want to write first of all this one. Get execution policy. Paste it here and press enter. And you have seen there is all sign shown on my PC. If in your PC there is shown a restricted mode, then simply copy this line and paste here. Yes. And then your PC mode change to all signed mode. Then and you will see all signed as shown in your PC too. Now copy this line and paste it here. I don't install it because I already installed that. That's why I don't install this thing. But you have to install it. This is basically a choco mode which is necessary in react native and after installation you have to write choco for check the version I simply write choco and as you see chocolate version 0.10.15 shown in my screen the second thing is go to that tab and simply install Java SE development kit JDK. For installation of this, simply copy this and paste it on command prompt. As you see, command prompt. Simply go to search and write command prompt. Here is the command prompt. Run it as an administrator. Yes. And paste here this line. This one. Here is write Choco. It means over Choco software install this Open JDK 8. That's why you have to firstly install the Chocolate. After installation of this, scroll down and install Android Studio. I already installed Android Studio 2. I just want to show you how it looks like. You have to download it from here and simply install that in default mode. After installation of Android Studio, you have to open it. I open my Android Studio. There is 
a lot of files open that's why it take time to open android studio Yes, here we go. This is the front screen of Android Studio. Now, what's next? The next process is simply go to configure and go to SDK Manager. Here is a default path for React Native where all SDK is installed. This is a very important thing which we have learned in React Native. So copy this path and paste on somewhere else for your future resolution. Simply go to control panel then user account ok I go to control panel then user account here is user account and then again user account and simply move to change my environment variable after that simply click on new and write android home here i didn't write it because i already done this before you have seen and after that here you write that path where we have seen in our android studio this one if there is any other path you have to write it here uh, Yes, here is it. Here it is. If you have to add another path here, then simply add semicolon and paste another path here. This is the technique for adding the local path in environment variable. After that, Again, go to change my environment variable and select the path variable. Okay, I did that again. Change my environment path and go to path. This is our path. Edit it and simply paste this line. Here is write a new keyword in Windows 10. This shown, but I have used Windows 8. That's why I have seen this and simply add semi semicolon and write all this thing. But I already add this. That's why I didn't add this in my project. And now you have to copy this line and simply. Paste in your command prompt. Command prompt. You have to open node 2. I open here a node command. Here is a path where our project had been saved. I paste it here. The code which I copied before. In this code, you have seen first of all, we have write npx this is actually a dependency of react native in it mean uh, this is a project before syntax and after that we name our project this is awesome project we change it into a different project name just like uh, first 
control shell and hit enter and npx install our project in our path after the installation we will able to run our project And here our project is ready. When it is installed, simply go to C, then user, then Yasi, and here we, our project is located. Simply go to my PC, uh, close Windows Studio, I don't want that there. And go to C and then simply go to user and user need Yasi and I have installed by name first project. Here is our first project. For open this project, simply open Visual Core Studio. I have already installed that Visual Core Studio in my PC. This is my old project that opened. Simply clean this screen and move to that folder and drag that folder into this and here it is my first project name project is opened and ready for further processing thank you for today's video